An incredible outpouring for the five-year-old girl injured in a crash involving Britt Reed, the son of Chiefs head coach Andy Reed. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom is here with the latest on five-year-old Ariel and that GoFundMe account that's been set up for her. Cynthia, people are really pulling together, rallying, hoping that little girl will get better. They are, and she desperately needs that support. Right now, the latest information we have is that five-year-old Ariel is still in critical condition, still not awake. Now, we're learning all of this from the GoFundMe page set up to help Ariel and her family. It's heartbreaking to see her in the hospital bed. We've been told that her brain is swollen and there's some bleeding on the brain as well. Tiffany Verhulst set up the GoFundMe page in her statement here yesterday. Verhulst thanked everyone for donating and supporting the family. In just two days, more than $344,000 has been raised and the donations keep coming. Now, as we scroll through the page, there are hundreds of comments from people praying for Ariel and sending love and healing thoughts. Ariel was injured Thursday night in a crash. According to police, Britt Reed, the son of Chiefs head coach Andy Reed, was driving the car that hit two parked vehicles near Arrowhead Stadium. Five-year-old Ariel was in the back seat of one of those vehicles. Andy Reid today spoke with the media about the crash. He confirmed that his son had surgery for his injuries from the crash. Coach Reed also told us his heart goes out to Ariel and her mother. Again, my heart goes out to that young lady. I'm also a dad, so I, I get that. So I have concerns, I'm, uh, obviously, on both sides. And uh, Britt did have surgery. He's, he's doing, doing better now. But. Um, you know, that, that little girl, my heart goes out to her, yeah. Police said that Britt Reed admitted that he had two or three drinks that night. His blood was tested for alcohol and drugs. Those results are not back yet. Investigators today said it could take weeks before their report on the crash is ready for the prosecutor, who will then decide if criminal charges will be filed. Now we have the latest on the investigation and a link to the GoFundMe page at KSHB.com. I'm Cynthia Newsom. Back to you.